In this video we're going to take a look at the new Restream for Me application. Uh, this is an application which lets you take a, an M3U8 live video stream and restream it on another web server. This type of um, stream, this M3U8 stream, that's a, another name for a um, HTTP live video stream. So um, we'll walk through the steps of showing you the new application and how to configure it and how to get started using it. So the application itself is pretty simple. It's got two uh, tabs here. It's got a streams tab and a settings tab. Um, so the streams tab is where you enter your M3 U8 URLs that you'd like to restream. Uh, and the settings tab is where you configure how you can restream to your new web server. So uh, there's a few different mechanisms you can use to send the stream to your new web server. So um, here in the target we can choose either to send it to a local file which you might do if you're running a web server locally on one of your machines. In that case you're just copying files to a directory. Um, alternatively you could use FTP or secure FTP and in this case I'll use secure FTP. Now I've already entered in here um, the host name and an account and a password for my web server and I've entered a directory where I'd like the, the stream files to be saved. Um, so I can hit the test connection button which goes off and attempts to connect to that server using the username and password I've supplied and validates the address exists. So you can see the message here is telling me it's successfully connected using SFTP and confirmed that the directory exists. Great, we're in a good position to be able to start those streams. So uh, we need to configure some streams. Uh, I've got a few here I can go and add. Um, so there's two things that we need to add when we add a stream. We need to add um, a URL and you have, will have your own sources of how to get these URLs. In this particular case, um, I'll try this one here and you give it a name that's going to identify the file. So I'll call it uh, nhk and it'll be called nhk.m3u8 on the target server. So okay we've added that one and maybe, maybe we'll add another one maybe we'll add um, the NASA TV feed and we will call it we'll call it NASA TV m 3 u 8 okay so I've configured two streams that I would like to restream and the, the settings for how uh, it'll connect to my web server. So let's just hit the start button. So it's off connecting to your server and starting the downloading of the stream. Now it takes a few seconds to get started, well a minute or so to get started. So while it's got this initial message on the screen here saying syncing, um, that's when it's in the startup stage. So it'll do this for a minute or so and then you'll see those numbers reduce or entirely disappear and when the syncing message has gone away then it's it's ready to um, be watched by someone so we're almost there so this first one has now dropped to four segments behind now two segments behind and we should almost be there okay this this first stream now is ready to watch so if I open up a browser and go to my web server and I put them in an HLS directory and I call it nkh.m3u8 um, If I open this in an Edge web browser it, it's got a player that natively pay, it plays it so it's a good place for me to test it. So here's the player, it's connecting and it's playing the stream. So that live stream is now taken from an external website and has been restreamed onto my website. Um, now 
it's good at dealing with M three U eight streams, including uh, encrypted streams that have keys and so on listed. It will take care of all the decryption uh, and the new stream that is stored on your web server um, is unencrypted and can be watched. And we should have the other stream ready now. Uh, so NASA TV, yeah, so it's caught up. Now it's fine to, to watch as well. So let's put in NASA TV. And there's the NASA TV stream playing. So that's it. It's a pretty straightforward application to use. Um, actually won a competition to create one of these experiments.